What's unique about being an artist is that you can express almost anything through your art, especially who you are. And the great thing about this is that by doing that, we can focus a bit more on ourselves and the things we have instead of focusing on others and what they have. We can learn a bit more about ourselves and by that find our own ways of interpreting all those subjects and topics that are already established. After all, it's only by filtering everything through who we are as individuals that we find a unique and authentic voice. And authenticity is empathetic. So don't try to be someone else. Try to be yourself. Express your love for pets or traveling through art. Your political views or your ethnic background. Your values and beliefs. Paint your favorite TV show characters or whatever the things are that are closest to your heart right now. Painting is infinitely more than just beautiful pictures. It's an extension of who we are. It's a way to express ourselves and all the things about us that make us unique. So what does Iron Man have to do with all this? Well, that's part of my story and who I am. Granted, it's just one tiny part. But my love for comics, anime and pop culture has contributed significantly to who I am today. And it still continues to do so. Of course painting Iron Man is not really about painting the character here. It's about engaging with and connecting to that part of myself. I know that painting something like this won't change your life or your perspective on art. But what it might do is tell you a bit more about yourself and what kind of an artist you are destined to become. Of course what you paint on a day-to-day -day basis will probably continue to be something different. But it's by exploring in a playful way that we often discover the most valuable things. Maybe you will realize that more than anything else you like painting the effects of metal. Or maybe you will realize that you enjoy painting angular shapes. Or maybe you will realize that you don't like painting portraits as much as you thought you do. Whatever it may be, it will influence your work in the future. When I'm painting Iron Man here, I'm obviously not trying to change the world. I'm just trying to have some fun painting, while taking a trip down memory lane. And if you have never done that, well, then you are missing out on something. It's essential to take breaks from the pressures of creating art. And how can you do that better than by not taking things so seriously? and painting the things that are closest to your heart. There really is no reason to limit yourself to just one style or subject or approach. You can do whatever you want. You can be provocative or you can be silly. You can be mysterious or you can be political. Or you can occasionally be a fanboy, just like me. Don't listen to all the people out there who think they know it all. If I could give you just one advice, it doesn't matter if you're just starting out or if you're a professional, it would be this. Do whatever the hell you want to do. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support and the fact that you continue to come back and hear me talk about art. I hope I could encourage some of you to paint a bit more for yourself. I myself am a huge geek and a sucker for all things comic, anime and pop culture, so in anticipation for Avengers Endgame, I can't help but live out that side of myself. Let me know what you like to paint when you just want to have a good time or be nostalgic and yeah, have a good one.